Hey folks, this is my second day in Montana. I flew in yesterday, got a glimpse at some of the wonderful rivers enticing me down below. And of course I couldn't fit my long handled fly net in with my luggage, it was just too long. So I was forced therefore to go visit the local fly shop. And the other issue I had was there were hoot owl restrictions on the lower Madison where I was planning on fishing the next day. Uh, more about that down below. So these guys were able to point me in the right direction after of course I picked up this sweet fishing net. And, uh, and they gave me some, some options in the area uh, of some places where I can potentially go wading, which is actually by far my favorite rather than doing a float trip itself, although we are gonna do one of those tomorrow, that video to come. So I got in the truck and started to explore the area and came across the river which I'd scoped out myself. And this, this is not a river you find on any websites, any blogs. Uh, so when I found this, I was all by myself. Got a fish. Looks like a pretty good one. I'll try to get this on camera. Ooh. Look at that wild boat. Awesome. And a great fish. Beautiful location. That's my favorite. Alright, I'm gonna let this guy go. Hopefully we got that. Just like that, I got another right after that last one. Sweet. What a great looking fish. Beautiful colors. Let's see if I can get a better release shot this time. Beautiful. Hey bear, I'm coming. Right where it's supposed to be, hugging that bank. Look at those colors, it is so pretty. Perfect wild rainbow. So that little rainbow was just hugging that far bank. Right over there, I think I got him right in that bank. I'm gonna sort of run down here. Oh, just taking a bath. Fish on! We got another one. We got way downtown. Downstream. Sitting in that pocket. There he is. Oh my god, look at that. That is such a pretty fish.
<laughs> hey bear, coming through. Hey bear. Just me and my fly rod. Hey guys, so instead of carrying a big water bottle today, um, instead I'm carrying the, uh, the soya squeeze water filtration system. And now I'll just grab some of this from the water here, drink as I want to, and then I don't have to carry all that weight. So we can commando through this tricky river. Ultra lightweight. guys I knew this was a big fish a strong fish which is why I didn't get it on on camera while I was finding it but look at this guy that's a that's a brown trout beautiful brown trout something let me pick him up oh my gosh look at that that's one of the best fish maybe the best trout I've ever caught that's awesome Ooh. Just like that, he's gone. <laughs> oh man, look at the scrapes on this tree. It's like eight feet tall. Only one thing can do that. This one's a little bit lower, but. Definitely see those gouges. All right, so I just had one of the most amazing fishing experiences of my life. This river, it's not in any websites, it's not in any travel blogs, anything like that. It's something I scoped out myself. I didn't get on the river until about two o'clock in the afternoon. I had a conference this morning. Um, this is a business trip, uh, can you tell? So from between two o'clock and five o'clock, I caught eight rainbow trout, a cut bow, and a brown. Big brown. And uh, not only that, just wild trout, most amazing colors. Even the little four inch uh, rainbows were beautiful. Um, and uh, the cut bow, uh, it's just a classic. And the brown trout, I thought I just snagged on the log. That thing did not move for about 10, 20 seconds. I was about to jump in and retrieve my, my hook. And that brown trout, uh, it fought a fight. Uh, it was hunkered down in a hole next to a boulder came out of that hole. They wanted to go back in that hole so badly. Um, but uh, I had just a fantastic time. So in three hours of fishing, I caught eight of the most beautiful trout in one of the most beautiful rivers I've ever had the privilege to be on. So definitely blessed to be here. I thank all of my friends who have supported me and thank everyone on YouTube for supporting me. These opportunities are amazing and it's my privilege to be able to share them with you.